Explantation of opacified emplus lens with severe zonular weakness. This patient had an opacified lens implanted nine years ago. The lens was totally opacified on slit lamp examination. Vision gradually deteriorated to 6 over 12. The surgery was started by visco dissection of the adhesion between the anterior capsule and lens implant using a 25 gauge needle connected to a dispersive visco elastic. The sharp tip of the needle was used to break up the adhesions 360 degrees between the anterior capsule and the lens implant by gradually sweeping the needle side to side in all directions while injecting viscoelastic. There is evidence of severe zonular weakness and the capsular bag was unstable. It is essential to be delicate during the dissection to avoid further zonular damage. Further visco dissection is injected in all directions to open up the fibrosed capsular bag around the optic and haptics of the lens. This step is further repeated using the dispersive viscoelastic cannula, as it has a larger bore, till you see a good wave of viscoelastic going behind the lens implant. Then, the main incision was made using a 2.8mm keratome and further gentle sweeping with a spatula to make sure all adhesions were cleared. Notice the very weak zonules and unstable capsular bag complex. Therefore, a second instrument, such as a Sinsky hook, was used to stabilise the capsular bag. Further, visco dissection was performed to clear any residual adhesions. The viscoelastic wave was clearly seen at this stage. This also confirms that the posterior capsule is intact. As the pupil was getting smaller, I injected intracameral diluted phenylephrine to dilate the pupil. Then, visco dissection was repeated again from the main incision and side ports before preparing the lens for explantation. It is important to be generous with visco dissection to completely free the lens optic and haptics from the capsular bag and minimize any zonular trauma on the already compromised capsular bag. Then I started the lens explantation. A second instrument, such as a Y lens pusher, was used to support the capsular bag while using a Sinisky hook to explant the haptic of the lens. The same process was repeated from the other side port to explant the other part of the plate haptic from the capsular bag. This counter-traction helps to minimize any stress on the zonules. Further viscoelastic was injected behind the lens to protect the posterior capsule and to vault the lens outside the bag. Then the other haptic was explanted in the same way using two instruments, one supporting the bag and the other to explant the haptic. The lens is now free in the anterior chamber. I slightly rotated the lens along the axis of the main incision to allow for easier cutting and explantation. I prefer to cut it into two halves before explantation. A 23 gauge serrated forceps was used to hold the lens from the side port and lens cutting scissors were used to cut the lens, dividing it into two halves. I cut with the scissors as far as I can go. It can be tricky with plate haptics, lens implants compared to other lens designs. Further viscoelastic was injected to deepen the anterior chamber and to protect the cornea. Then, a Sinsky hook was used to provide some counter-traction and complete the cutting of the lens into two separate halves. You can notice the change in the red reflex since the patient was quite symptomatic from such lens opacification. The first half of the lens was grasped from the edge by the micro forceps and gently squeezed from the main incision outside the eye with the help of notched forceps. Once explanted outside the eye, it is always a good idea to check carefully if any missing lens fragments. The other half was slightly rotated to bring its edge along the axis of the main incision. Then, after injecting some viscoelastic into the anterior chamber, the second half was grasped by the microforceps in the same way outside the eye. The two halves were rechecked and you can notice the level of lens opacification and the remarkable difference in red reflex. A gentle irrigation aspiration was performed to clear any debris or residual lens fibers that were trapped inside the capsular bag. Since the capsular bag was compromised with severe zonular weakness, I decided to put in a three-piece lens implant. 
One tip to make the lens insertion easier is to rotate the lens clockwise while injecting the leading haptic, then counterclockwise while injecting the optic. This helps to place the lens in the correct position. The lens was rotated and the trailing haptic was pushed under the pupil in the sulcus. Then, the optic was captured under the edge of the anterior capsule. This offers better long-term stability for the lens implant and the capsular bag. Further bimanual irrigation aspiration was performed to remove any residual viscoelastic in the anterior chamber or any debris trapped in the angles. Then, the main incision and side ports were hydrated and the surgery was concluded. You can notice the difference in the red reflex before and after the surgery. Thanks for watching.